Ramble. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's episode. Are we rolling? Yeah, we're good. We're good to go. Well, it's been a week since I called out Hank Green, yeah. and unfortunately, no as you've all seen, it has exploded into a huge um, trending topic on Twitter. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I guess I have some apologies issue, uh-huh. uh, but also he I think he does too. Yeah, I mean, I think that it was uncalled for that Hank doxed you. Mm-hmm. That was rude. He, I, he put pictures of my house out on the internet. Yeah, I thought that was... <clears throat> shocking um now does that justify the way that you responded by releasing photos of his eighth toe yeah but only his eighth toe i let the other yeah sort of a normal toe to have. all the other yeah, it was pretty normal to release <laughs> one of the toes but Push it, of it is i mean we all agree we're looking at that toe it's a fucked up toe i mean mm-hmm. i have a friend look, who doesn't have a toenail the toe, it's fucked up. oh it's oh I met someone who had a whole foot lacking of toenails. Like really? Their left foot had no toenails, and I've never th- not thought about it. It's like Kyle XY. Yeah. Is it? No No belly button. No toenails. Mm, mm-hmm. I don't know. I think he did have toenails in the show. He did have toenails. No belly button. Yeah. Um, guys, it's the last episode of the year. Um, and oh. it's also the last episode that I'll be on for uh, yeah. a while while I evolve Pokemon style into being a father. Fuck yeah. Could all the acquaintances be father and daddy <laughs> come to mind? Holy Miles. shit. Yeah. The I end just of the realized year. something. Mm. What? Well, Miles has long been the baby, but now right. he's going to kind of be like the daddy. daddy. He's going to be the boss. I was wondering about this, and I. I um, You're lapping us in life stages. I was wondering about my vibe. Yeah. Oh. But I think that the truth is that... Well, I think you should be a bad father. Yeah. Well, I kind of am also on that train. No, I think my vibe will be like unchanged. I doubt that. Really? I, I don't think so. Tired. I don't think... You think my vibe is yeah. going to be changed? I think yeah. when you become a dad, it's a different... It's. I think you change. Yeah, but like John Mulaney is a dad. Like, you, I think that what you're thinking of is like <laughs> dads who are like dads on LinkedIn. I don't think you're going to be that kind of dad, but I do think that you're going to be, I think you're going to learn a lot. Oh, I think, for sure. I think you're going to sort of become wiser. Miles, you know yes. all your little Not that you're not wise now. Yeah, you're little, yeah. you're little, little doodads. Keyboards. Little whatever. Yeah. Say goodbye. How dare you? Say what? fucking goodbye Actually, to no, the no, hours no. you spent researching mechanical keyboards. Sayonara. I'll be building a mechanical <laughs> keyboard for my son. <laughs> He'll be a pro gamer by five. I hope so. You know what? Actually, I saw a cool quote from uh, Rob Delaney, <laughs> friend of the show. He's not, but he's great. He doesn't like you. He's, he's really our friend he's, in our mind. I love him. Cat- Catastrophe is like the best show ever. You've, you've seen Catastrophe, right? It fucking rules. It's I great. haven't watched it. Um, it's really nice. You'd like it. Okay. Um, but uh, so he said um, there was this, like somebody was asking him, what is it like to be a new parent? And he was saying, uh, you know, Look, like, I guess, like, the cliche is to be like, you don't even know what it's going to be like. But what he said was actually, um, you, you're you ready for the bad stuff. You've been extremely tired before. You've been extremely stressed before. You've been worried about money before. Mm. What you're not ready for is, like, the good stuff that's so much better than Aww. everything else. And I was like, oh, that actually makes me psyched. Because I think that, like, oftentimes people are like, oh, it's going to be cra-. And it obviously will be crazy. But, like you're ready for that because of the life situations that have brought you here where you've dealt with difficult things in the past and this will be a difficult, the difficult parts will be difficult, but the like amazing parts, that's what you're not ready for. I'm and that's thrilled. Like I'm difference. thrilled to hear this. It's yeah. adorable as hell. Yeah. I'm sorry for this journey for you and I also am grateful to hear that you're <coughs> not going to be one of those people who are like, yeah, no idea how hard I have it. And it's like, oh, shut the fuck up. Every single person has been a parent. Yeah. Well, I think it's like, I am excited. <laughs> I, I, to I, have, I have no patience for that shit. No. I you've think never it's, experienced tired until you've out, bit. Shut up. Well, it's like, I will be very tired, but I think it's like, oh yeah, then it'll get like easier. And then like, it's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard work, but you're going to have a great a time. Roller coaster. It's also like important. Sarah and I talk about this all the time, but it's like important to remember. Like it will be obviously absolutely difficult, but very thrilling. And like 
it's like a choice we made to do. And like, mm-hmm. that's why it's exciting. Right. So when you're hating do. yourself later, yeah. you had to be like, well, how did this happen? How did this happen? It's like, oh, no, no, no. We decided to do this. And like, the difficult parts will get better. And the better parts are like totally outweigh whatever right. difficulty. And you have a 90 day guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can it. send it. Well, we're looking up fire stations in the area. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good, good thing to do. Yeah. Top five miles stories. Milestones. Milestones. Number stories? five. <gasps> Milestones. Here we go. Growing ready. up. In the Grand Canyon, yeah, and getting taken on horses yeah. left and right. That's right. Uh, when I was one years old, I uh, was a baby, and I was in the Grand Canyon, and we lived there because my dad taught at the school in the Havasu right. Reservation. Yeah, and uh, sometimes men on horseback would take me. And no, you don't were, remember any of this. No, I was one. Of course not. Now yeah. I hear stories from your life and your yeah. childhood. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and your dad, sure, baller ass dude. Yeah, El baller ass dude. Now, yeah. do you realize that? Um, you're more boring than him. Yeah, and no, big time. That that you yeah. are depriving your child mm-hmm. of uh, of having a adventure, like Indiana Jones style adventure. Yeah, and I see where you're at, but I think the difference is that we have um, like video games now, so we can just play that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Video games are gonna be dope. Yeah, that is interesting. Will I go on Indiana Jones style adventures with my tiny child to sort of give them worldly experiences? No, but um. I probably will. Now that I think about it, hey, they're not going to remember. Him. That's a good thing when they're babies; they don't remember much. They don't remember anything. Yeah, thing. but maybe by the time he's six, you'll be friends with Dua. That'd be huge. Yeah. Okay, here's this. What if we sync? What if we sync our cycles, Keith? Okay. Okay. And and <laughs> I'm a few years away, but what if? What if when I decide to have kids? Yeah. We take this whole traveling circus on the road. Okay. And we do. We try guys is mm-hmm. now a traveling caravan. Yeah, I love this. We and, Price hikes. and we we do the podcasting wherever we want. We make yeah. videos where we just keep on going city by city. We're a little a little band and nomads. Got a little circus, like Movie a little tour. traveling circus. Movie tour. Movie tour. Movie tour featuring Mo- little baby. Movie tour in a tent <laughs> featuring da baby. It's featuring mine. My son. Da baby. My, my son now is da baby. Da baby. Yeah, da baby. <laughs> Move over to do a leap featuring Da Baby. Da Baby. Quote, quote Da Baby Bonsignore. <laughs> yeah, Da Baby Bonsignore. All right, I, uh, I don't want to live anywhere. Wow, I shouldn't have paused there. I don't want to yeah, live. Yeah, really I don't want to live. Harrowing. Anyway. Anywhere. <laughs> I just want to I wanna, I wanna be on the road with You're my nomad. baby. Yeah. My future I think that baby. would be tough. I am excited to oh. not have to <laughs> worry about anything except for the baby for like the first oh, like, yeah. month. Because I'm going to paternity leave. Shout out. Second try. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's going to be great. And I'm psyched that, that, like, I can do that. And then I have the luxury to be like, okay, great. Like, perfect. You know, my other show, like, I'm trying to, like, schedule that stuff out so that way I don't have to edit it or anything like that. So that way I can just be like, all right, great. This is actually something Elliot told me. He was like, mm-hmm. Elliot, editor of ours, huge shout out. Uh, he became a father in the last year. And he was like, the first week was like the best week of my life because I didn't have to think about anything except for this. It was like you're mm-hmm. normally worried about like a myriad of other things, and there's only like one thing that you really have to worry about. Mm-hmm. That's nice. He was spitting fire advice. He at was our wild holiday party. At the holiday yeah, party. Yeah, that that some. got increasingly uh, <laughs> aggressive the more he drank. <laughs> <laughs> like it, the tenor of all the advice was still really sweet and heartfelt, That's but so it funny. just got more and more aggressive. Like he was giving me wedding advice and all this stuff, and then by the end of it, he was like, "You gotta get a nice." Watch, Zach, so that every time in the future you put that watch on and it reminds you of your... Listen to me. It's going to remind you of the best day of your life. I have heard of that. I've heard that with cologne, too. Yeah, and candles. Take a candle on vacation, Mm -hmm. smell it on vacation, Yeah, then burn it when you're stressed. You're just creating (laughs) fake sense memory. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's real. It's it's real sense memory. Right, but you're... You're, man- Planning, you're yeah. manufacturing. Yeah, manufacturing. See, Sorry, yeah. jinxies. Oh, jinxies. Jinxies, you guys know what that means. It is the jinxie time. It is the jinxie time. It is the jinxie between Randy and Zachary. Guys, we've got one final segment before I go. Okay, and it's over? The show's almost over? No. I mean, before I go on paternity leave. Oh, okay. For the audience. This is segment. We have Okay. We have a couple more. We have a couple more. But I figured we start front loaded with this one because it's going to be really good. We've already started. And we're Talk about well, we're gonna start in a second. I haven't started recording, but um, (laughs) I hope you have. (laughs) I hope you have. (laughs) We wanted to record this. Um, 
But uh, uh, yeah, and now I'm literally checking everything to make sure I did. Um, <laughs> but uh, so uh, we're going to talk about the holiday party, which got oh. wild and wet. Um, but before we do, Not I figured we had, an ur- we had an urgent segment that we needed to cover here. Urgent. And this is a segment that the kids are calling Trumothy Shalafals. Hell Trumothy yeah. Trumothy Shalafals. Okay. Where? Trumothy Shalamal. Trumothy Shalamal. 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 Trumothy Shalamal. Shalamal. Where I, I quiz you guys on facts about Timothy Chalamet oh, on ready. whether they're true I'm or whether ready. they're false. I can be more less interested in this. Keith's ready for it. <laughs> it's the end of the year. And something the I don't care about is celebrity. The holidays <laughs> like, bring facts about oh Timothy, Keith. Yeah, he's tiny, right? He's a little guy, but I've been saying for years that he's I wanted to gain muscle. He's curly hair. It's too bad that they already shot all the Lord of the Rings. Is he a good hobbit? <laughs> he he would have been, been perfect. Incredible. He'd be really nice. He'd be really good as one of those Better characters. than Elijah. I don't, I don't think he'd be better, but he would be good. He is really tall, by the way. Is no, he? he is not. Yes, he is. How? How, How tall? tall? No, I literally know this because of this John Mulaney sketch where like Anna Marie Tendler was like, oh, like he's he's 6'3", and John Mulaney was like upset. It's not 6'3". I can't remember how He's not 6'3". I've seen he him. might be. I've seen his picture. I've seen his picture. Uh, <laughs> well, let's take a guess. That, can this be the first question? Yeah, yeah. He, How tall? True or false? Is... He's five five. Oh my gosh, false. way taller. No, I think he's five nine. Is he taller no. than Zach? How tall are you? Five seven and three quarters. You're five six. No. <laughs> oh, he's only five ten actually. So it turns out Rainy's spreading fake news on the show. And I do have to issue another apology, by the way. By the way, Rainy. You thought he was five inches taller than he is. Yeah, that Rainy, that's crazy. And first of all, Rainy, I want you to apologize for this. And then you have another apology you have to give <laughs> that you forgot about. Yeah. Well, I actually didn't forget about this because I really was, um, I was really researching this hard yeah. because two weeks ago, yeah. I said that Bo Burnham and his girlfriend broke up. Yeah. And that's not necessarily a hundred percent true. No, let's let's take that back because not only is it not a hundred percent true, it's not true at all. Well, you know what's weird is yeah. I almost called you out in the moment <laughs> because you were the second person in the course of like two weeks that tried telling me that Bo Burnham broke up with his girlfriend. I'm like, I don't. And then the person's like, Yeah, no, they broke up before inside. I'm like, What are you talking about? No, they didn't. It's dedicated to her. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. So who is spreading this? Falsity. It's all over the internet. Why hasn't he put a ring on it? Because he's... <laughs> Jesus, Keith. <laughs> That's so crazy. He dedicated a whole special that people love to her. Would you rather have a dedicated special to you or a wedding ring? Dedication. Depend, I think It depends well. on what my financial situation is. Oh, yeah. very good. Because like he lives in California, so if we get married and he's like significantly wealthier than me, then suddenly I become... Wealthier. wealthier. She's a very successful writer director. Yeah, she's really successful. Yeah, she, but who do you think is wealthier? Or, or him? No, I think him. Uh, he doesn't release that much, but his shit does so well that, and he has a Netflix deal, so probably him. Because she's a director. I'm not worried about them as a like, couple. I wasn't I trying to prove her. I was just saying. I th- He's probably no, wealthy. He's probably wealthy. If you he's, asked him, he'd probably be like, "Well, social media is like the, the marriage." You know what I mean? <laughs> he's had a movie. <laughs> What's that? He's had some movies. Yeah, that's true. He's, he was in pr- uh, Pretty yeah. Little Liars is what I'm about to call it. What's it called? <laughs> pretty pretty Young yeah, Promising Young Woman. woman. <laughs> yeah. He made the uh, seventh grade? Eighth grade. Eighth, eighth, grade. eighth grade. Really Just good movie. Off. <laughs> <laughs> I often get my seventh grade and eighth grade memories mixed up. Yeah. But Rainy um, yeah. read You're a, a liar. She so read I'm a liar. But here's, here's <laughs> let me just back this up. With let what? me back that ass With up. Where you got the lie from? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So first of all, I got the lie from both TikTok and Dumois. Uh, has and a, she has a Google Doc opened up. And she I want to say, yeah, I'm like, I researched because I was like, I was really hoping that like I would uncover something. And so I could be like, no, 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 I was right. Like, I, you know, but. And when you say you get it from TikTok. Yeah. I'm guessing that the person who made the TikTok looked at the Dumois. Right. Yeah. So like yes. you got I, it from Dumois. No, you know what the TikTok was about? Actually, I remember this now. The, t- <laughs> the TikTok was actually about them at a 1975 concert and they yeah. were snuggling. A little bit. Phoebe Bridgers. Sorry. Phoebe Bridgers and Bo Burnham. Phoebe Bridgers is engaged. I know. Recently. But Phoebe Bridgers. They, people think that she's in poly. Pol, pol, she's a poly. Polyamory. <laughs> so anyway. I, I, there's so listen. many accusations <laughs> flying out of Rainey's mouth right now. I'm going to jump off like, a bridge. <laughs> Phoebe Bridgers is poly. She's hooking up with Bo Burnham. Yeah. And they're broken up. And people have the audacity. Audacity. To make fun of millennials when this is the chaos coming out of Gen Z's mouth. Right? I know. Yeah. Like it's, they, um, they harp on me for taking a slight breath, and we're listening to this <laughs> insane rambling. You know yeah. what I would say? I could use a couple breaths. Yeah, well, couple the breaths. one thing that's like actually, you know, reported on NPR true 
is that the Nightmare on Elm House sold for $2.9 million January 2022. That is after Inside when Bo Burnham filmed Inside there and they lived there. So they, they sold their house together. Now Bo Burnham is at GQ Man of the Year. He's at the 1975 thing, Wait, and I'm he sorry. posted this photo. Yeah, so he said the Nightmare on Elm House. That's where he lived. The Nightmare on Elm Street house is where he lived. Yeah, he lived in the house that is the Nightmare on Elm Street house. Yeah, that's cool. But you know what I'll say <laughs> is that, like that's really bizarre. cool. <laughs> but that's like a very common, like selling property and getting a nicer house is very common in Los Angeles. <laughs> right Especially now. when you're having in, a in the Nightmare on movie. Elm Street house. Like I'm guessing that that kind of ebbs and flows in popularity. <laughs> Um, yeah, but yeah. they are not officially broken up. So In any I way, do have not to even not officially, that. not even not officially, well, but <laughs> I think, not even unofficially. I not think we should up. keep an eye on it because I'm this skeptical. Is, you're I'm Alex jo- you know, Alex Jones, you're doing that. <laughs> Rainy is millennial oh Alex Jones. Whoa. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't go that far. Rainy <laughs> is you are, keep, you are potentially saying things that are completely not true. You read a fact that said that you were wrong and you said, but I think we should take an eye on We should keep an eye on it. You know, sometimes you got to keep your finger on the pulse. There's something there. Lots of people are talking about it. <laughs> because two people online. Because of you, Rainy. Yeah, you <laughs> probably made about it because hundreds you said of thousands it. of our listeners think it was true. Yeah, you spread the biggest misinformation of all, except for Dumois. And by the way, Dumois is based on fan submissions. We should know that because Dumois also reported that there was a mole inside the office. It was Everyone me. is furious. People are quitting left and right. And it was like, that was not true. That was not true. Refusing to sign their NDAs. Which, which we don't wouldn't. sign. Which, you <laughs> which would, we don't have. Which you wouldn't be able to You guys didn't did. sign any NDAs. You refused. <laughs> I didn't. I refused because they didn't exist. <laughs> yeah, Why so, are you lying yeah. to the I know. listeners? I really files. should come clean. Wild. Well, but uh, yeah. yeah. It's of the people. Dumois of the people. You've got to take it with a grain of salt, but sometimes they'll give you a lead. Yeah, sometimes. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, in other news, I do need a new crush. And I've oh. been sort of pulling the office. What Jonathan happened? suggested, well. And get to this, because then we have to get to Trumathe. Oh Shall my gosh, I really want to do... Oh, we're in the middle of Trumathe? No, we're sort of at the beginning of Trumathe. We haven't even done quite it yet. Begun yet. Then why don't of, we kind of put a pause in the crush? Yeah. yeah. And let's Trumathe. play Trumathe. We gotta play Trumathe, Shallow False. Because I actually um, am gonna win this, because I know a lot about him. Well, you'd you do, think, but some of these crush. are a little tricky. An old crush. Trumathe, Shallow False. I have fully forgotten that that was a segment. Coming in at number one, his first major role was in the Matthew McConaughey movie Interstellar. True. True. False. That's Trumathe. Trumathe. <laughs> That's not his first role. He made some fire ass rap videos in high school. Yeah, but his first major role, I said. Uh, major to who? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Trumathe, a shallow false number two. He went missing mysteriously and was the first female pilot to attempt to fly around the world. Truth. Trumathe. That's going to be a, a false for Trumathy. me. Trumathy. I'm in it to win it. Trumathy. I abstain. That's fa- Shallow Falls. Whoa, Whoa. Really, really? Wait. It was Amelia Earhart. Oh, <laughs> I, was thinking, uh, I was thinking of Amelia Earhart. Oh, right. He used to mod Xbox controllers in his spare time, a gamer through and through. Trumathe or Shallow Falls? Trumathe. False. He's, he's shallow a, False. He's got a gamer's bod. Trumathe. He did. Oh, he has dang. like little videos of him oh, being Oh, I like, was thinking of her again, wasn't I? Yeah, you're thinking of Amelia Earhart. Yeah. She, she, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't, she didn't yeah, do it. I was thinking, I always get them mixed up. Uh, Toby Maguire said that he was proud of Timothy and the younger generation of actors today. True Mathe or Shallow Falls? Shallow Falls. Falls. That is also about in the air. Shallow Falls. <laughs> that is Shallow Falls. Toby didn't say anything. <laughs> you just made that up? I just made that up. <laughs> Toby. That up. Toby's too busy. Freaking. I like Toby Maguire. I think he's really good in um, that movie about the horse. Sea Biscuit? Yeah, he's good. Oh, that's one of the ones I haven't seen. Yeah, it'll make you cry, man. Yeah, I... If you want to watch a guy on a horse for an hour, yeah, it's sort of you're like, gonna love it. I don't know. Horses are good; they're good actors. Have you seen yeah. a horse? They're big. They're really big. And they're I, kind I don't of, know how yeah. people get up on them. They're so tall. Uh, when we did a couple, we've done horses stuff like once or twice, mm-hmm. and they're so mm-hmm. big. And I don't know how you get. I I gotten up on one. I couldn't remember how I could do that if I tried again right now. Yeah. Are you guys on horse talk? Because I am. Horse talk, not a like chance. Nothing less. I'm a horse girl. I will say. I do think <laughs> horses are incredibly. They have a lot of sexual energy, right? They're huge Whoa. and like very like emotionally intuitive. And like you if see you the touch a horse, muscles and yeah, they're rippled. I just followed this one girl who rescues horses, and she has giant horses. Rescues. Big them. John is one of the horses. From what? From like slaughterhouses. 
Slaughterhouse. It's raining. They're horses? not killing horses in the United States. <laughs> are, you, wanna, are you sure about are that? Are you sure? I don't think there's yes. horse What happens when a horse is old? Yeah, they don't go to the slaughterhouse. <laughs> they you, fucking put the horse down. Where do you think We don't eat horse meat. Well, we... Maybe we should think, think about it. Sometimes might, but but I don't think there's horse slaughterhouses. United States. I think there's, they've snuck some through. <laughs> I think that that is true, actually. That, but that's like, true, Mathe. Yeah. That's <laughs> true, Mathe. That is true, Mathe. But, that's true, Mathe. But I do think that it's like accidental. They'll be like, oh, shit, there was like actually a horse in like a Jimmy Dean's breakfast sandwich accidentally. Yeah. I, oh, no, I, I don't think that. I think, you I don't, don't remember that. Captain Crunch, Oops All Horse? <laughs> Oops All Horses? I personally think you're okay with eating the majority of all the mammals that are common that we eat. I yeah. don't really see why you yeah. can't eat any mammal. Like wow. because they all presume. Like, think if given the opportunity to be a pet, they would all show a decent amount of intelligence and emotional yeah. stuff. Yeah, so we're I going think, down a rabbit hole. Yeah, I, I know. know I know people aren't going to like to hear it, but, but it's I, true. I agree. But let me Pigs tell you. are super heckin' smart. Let me. Tell, I agree. Cows are super heckin' smart, and we don't care about them. Cows are oh, so just because you want to fuck yeah. a horse, you're not going to eat it. <laughs> um, let's take a <laughs> ten minute break. I think. We're gonna let's thank some sponsors. We're going to switch to some ads right let's now. They're going to want their ads to let's follow that. Let's thank some sponsors. Let's just thank some And then we'll all cool down for a second. And we'll thank some sponsors. And we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I often wish that life came with a user manual, especially at work. Things can be stressful. I, I'm a boss. That's people are looking to me for answers and there is no user manual for life. But the next best thing that can provide you with tools to navigate all of life's challenges and help you grow as a person is therapy, which is why I use BetterHelp. With therapy, you get all of these benefits. You learn coping skills or self-empowerment, dealing with trauma if you have it, but also just getting to know yourself better. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists, available 100% online, plus it's affordable. Just fill out the brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It could not be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash tripod. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash tripod. He's the voice of Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story <laughs> movies. That's <laughs> false. Because someone who was just telling me who Buzz Lightyear was, you. I was? Yeah. Wait, did you not know who? You mean Buzz the voice who voiced yeah. it? I didn't the tell you. Or the new? Original. I didn't Tim tell Allen. you who it's Tim yeah. Allen, though. I didn't tell Somebody you Somebody did. It was but. in Guilty Pleasures, and oh, you edited that's the episode. Right. That's right. It's like kind of like a fun, like, it's just kind of fun to watch Rainy discover things that <laughs> we know because we're just a little bit older. <laughs> like, it, you you were wowed by Tim Allen being Buzz Lightyear, right? Yeah, but also I've, I haven't seen Toy Story because it was too sad, too scary. Too scary Wait, when I was a kid. Which, the, those are I different would, emotions. There are scenes that are scary in the first one. It's scary for yeah. kids. The second yeah, one's the, not scary. The baby spider. Yeah, that's it's fucking good. scary. That is it's scary, incredible. actually. I, you're, Maybe I'll watch it. I'll watch it. Too. It's really you good. Yeah. Wait, of, it's not just really good. It's phenomenal. You're going to have a movie. great fucking time. You know what I learned recently? What's up? Toy Story 2 was originally going to be a straight-to-home release movie. What? Wow. And it was too good. Yeah. It was sort of like how they do like Lion King 1 and a half, like those types of uh, things. Because mm. it was made the same era, and they thought, oh, we'll do that with the Toy Story 2. It'll go straight to... Uh, home and then they were watching like no it's too good it's got to go to theaters it's so good have you seen the original uh, uh, test animations and voice tests with Tom Hanks when they were they were still in the process of writing it so Pixar movies oh, are wow. super iterative yeah and Woody was a huge dick no way <laughs> oh my god he was a monster I mean, he's got moments where he's a dick right yeah, and so they, sure. they had to they had to really thread that needle to make him do bad things but make him likable but like yeah. He's a dictator. He's a cowboy. You oh. watch. I'm going to pull those up for you afterwards, and you're going to be That's interesting. stunned at how mean he was. Wow. But yeah, I, I want you to watch it and report back. They are some of the best movies. For sure, too. I think it's one of the best cartoons ever made. It's just like, oh, God, that fucking sequence. And Toy Story Ooh. 3. So many good sequences. There's so many good ones. But yeah, Toy Story 3 is pretty sad. And I kind of loved it. But I like, loved it. Yeah, no, in a good way. And Toy Story 4 was fine. Toy Story 4, you don't need to watch. Toy Story 3 is where Becky thinks the series jumped the shark, and she was like... I, she was upset by it. She yeah. didn't like the... Yeah. Well, the I, I don't want to talk about it. Scene. I will fight her. I know. Yeah. What's the next Timothy? 
Um, his fave actor is Joaquin Phoenix. Trimothy or Shallow Falls. I'm I'm so over this segment. <laughs> I couldn't be more over it. <laughs> See, this segment was designed to get you there. Like I want that? you to know that the, the every acting you're having is what I anticipated in the Uber over it's true. here. We never would have in talked the Uber. about. I we Sarah and I share a car, so sometimes she takes it, and she's and doing Uber. a gig right this morning. So between I Uber. between. False celebrity gossip and <laughs> facts about Trumathe. I, yeah. I need well, to. Leave. What about this one? He's a hip hop and rap fan. Trumathe or Shallow Falls? I know Falls. that. Trumathay. I know for sure is Trumathe. That's Trumathe. Yeah. That's probably King Cuddy is his favorite. King Cuddy. Sorry, sorry. Everybody, Let me, everybody, kid. hold. Hold on. Here's the thing. Everybody freeze. Anybody who's a celebrity who's asked <laughs> if they're a hip hop or rap fan is gonna say yeah. No, but because he like it's really cool. is. No, I know, no, but, but anyone like asked sure is. is gonna he say yeah, yeah because it's cool. <laughs> There's a cool genre. No, he yeah, actually but he likes it. it up though. He, he likes it. Bars. His Spotify yeah, rap was all Drake. He it was all Drake. Bars. <laughs> I would I'd love to hear some bars. Spotify wrapped. Well, it would probably be really interesting. Storm sounds. <laughs> He's just like that's how I get into the headspace of a good actor. The only time I'm listening to storm sounds is if there's someone like in my apartment in my house having sex. How often is that? Sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes she said with bated breath. Sometimes. Right, Sometimes last one. you come home and someone's boinking in the kitchen. You want to make a little thunderstorm in your room. You got to yeah. put on those headphones. Cancel it out. Uh, last that's one fun. is he's one of my favorite actors. True Mathé or Shallow Falls. That's I think false. that's false. Mm. I think True Mathé. I think it's Trimothy, actually. Maybe this whole really name Whoa. three of his songs. <laughs> this, Interstellar. This is how I do it. <laughs> Beautiful boy. Wait, no, there's no way. Timothy Chalamet is your favorite actor. No, it's one of my. Name your favorite actors. Um, let's see. <laughs> A horse. From Probably Jessica Chastain. <laughs> um, You're just going to name the cast of Interstellar. Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> yeah. No, who are who's your if you had to pick one actor? favorite actor or actress? Are we talking <laughs> serious or funny or just across the whole? I spectrum? think it's got to be a unilateral poll. Mm. Who's my favorite? Or who I think is the best? Not the best, your favorite. So do they don't even have to be good. Harry be, Styles. Harry and, and Styles is your favorite actor. If there's, Rainey? A, if there's a movie with Harry Styles, I'm gonna go see it. Did you see Don't Worry, Darling? Yeah, I did. Okay, I yeah. thought that was there's a lot of holes. <laughs> Yeah, you weren't alone. <laughs> I don't know that I have a favorite actor. That's why it's a hard question. Yeah, Zach. because it's like the idea of who's someone that I'm going to see in whatever they do. Yeah, and love them. I, you know, I, don't, I, I feel like the person I would go see in whatever they do is Seth Rogen. Yeah, he's great. And he also does really bizarre things. Even that mm -hmm. goofy pickle yeah. movie. Like he, He's in good things for the most part, and he makes a lot of those good things. Yeah. And then he's just a, always funny. He's cool. Did you, did you watch uh, the Steve Jobs movie? He's like really good in it. Did I watch a Steve Jobs with uh, Michael Fassbender and it's Aaron Sorkin? Maybe I didn't. It's I he, Seth Rogen's like of, he plays Steve Wozniak and he's just like really good. He's a great actor. Yeah. I like Ryan Gosling a lot. Yeah, he's great. He's good. Oh my god, he's fucking great. Just watched The Notebook again. Amazing film. I think Crazy Stupid Love is like Crazy an Stupid underrated Love is movie. Really good. It's like he's really good in it, and yeah. Steve Carell's awesome. really funny. Yeah, it's a great movie. Yeah, yeah. I don't know well, if favorite actor. Uh, oof, uh, John Bernthal comes to mind. Um, just because he's funny. Who is that? He is just like a meathead. I don't know how you describe him, but yeah, he's he's cool. like a meathead actor that's or in like a lot of stuff. Play? Uh, I don't. He, he, he was in Baby Driver. Oh, yeah, he's in Baby Driver. He was that's the Punisher. That was Wasn't a good he a Punisher? one. Punisher. Yeah, he was the Punisher. Okay. He's the only uncanceled <laughs> member of Baby Driver. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John Hamm is still kicking it. Yeah. Did I tell you. I think I might have told this story before, but John oh, Hamm took a video of me. Top five. That was five, top five miles stories. He took, took a, a video, video of you. I was at karaoke and I was singing. I want to say I was think, singing Cha Cha Slide, um, and uh, it was my friend's birthday. And my friend's friend is friends with John Hamm, and so John Hamm was at uh, Ye Rustic. Shout out Los Angeles nice. karaoke bar. Um, and uh, good wings, great too, wings, too spicy for me. And John Hamm was at the bar getting his drink, and I like said hello to him for five seconds because I was talking to his friend, and then I was singing Cha Cha Slide. Two hops this time. <laughs> you know, we're singing that at karaoke, which Hilarious. is kind of a fun a song. Very funny he thought it was funny, pulled out his phone, recorded wow. a video of me and my friend singing Chacha. You're Slide. on John Ham's cellular device. I'm sure he'd send it to his friend, was just like, look at these losers. No. no, I bet you he was like, "Yo, I bet he's going to be a star." He probably, <laughs> he would not he probably captioned it when he posted it. Cha cha, real smooth. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow. You think that's how John Hamm would <laughs> caption a video? <laughs> yeah. I tried real soon. Yeah. I That's feel like he maybe, yeah. yeah. Or just, you think he would, do you think John Hamm uses emojis? <laughs> yeah, I do. But only like while texting. Apparently, I'm supposed to use emojis all the time in texting. That if you don't use emojis, you're like Kurt, apparently. I like emojis. Mm-hmm. I don't use them like ever. And like once like Becky saw how I was texting to people, she's like, this is how you text people? It's like, <laughs> yeah. Fun. They're like, you don't put any like any emojis anywhere? I'm like, no. Wow. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> the tone indicator. I guess. Helps soften things. I guess. You're not putting any sauce on it. You're just giving it direct. <laughs> I just, I'm saying it like Dry. I say it. How am I supposed to know if you're smiling or laughing so hard that you're sobbing? Mm. <laughs> All right, lol. Cry laughing emoji is like really crazy to me. And then there's yeah. cry laughing emoji, and then there, there's like that, and then there's eh, you yeah, a little, there's a little the, head tilt. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm laughing so hard, I'm in the process of falling over, and you're getting a snapshot of me before my head smashes against the ground. Sometimes there's three of those in a row. I don't even know what to think. Yeah, I try to be lot. honest. <laughs> I try to be honest with, like, I, I want my emojis to match my face, or at least my feeling. So cry laughing to me is like, I, I would really have to be cry laughing in order to send that. That would be a big thing. I don't know that I've ever been there from a text. I you got to read Miles's mugs story because i was cry laughing it'll have already been out by this point and i can't believe i'm getting so many teases on this i know mugs sorry story. I don't i'm not gonna want to read it no i know we hyped it up too much for Keith. A little context yeah. here after talking about it on this pod rainy did go forth and publish try moi mm-hmm. which is a office only uh <laughs> gossip. gossip news <laughs> rag. Tabloid. a tabloid. tabloid it is a tabloid it's by the way tabloid. it's not like a tra- it's not the, yeah. the two references to zach and i both indicated death we, <gasps> our names were in used what for the obituary about? section of the skeleton. Both skeletons, one was named with Keith in the middle, and okay. one was named with Zach in the middle. And then, <gasps> and then the Whoa. photo of us of where our bosses showed a picture that was described as us at a funeral. Yeah. So I don't know what kind of veiled Whoa. threat was in that what tabloid about, the, about um, Keith and Zach <gasps> dying. The group <laughs> message. It was there. The group message. This was big. This this made news. This made waves. So. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to name name names here. I'm not going to talk about the restaurant, but uh, Jack put out a, a lunch <laughs> order for a restaurant that I think is poo caca garbage. We'll bleep it, yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> he suggested it. Now, Keith was excited because he wanted a salad. I was shooting at you with Keith that day. I didn't so know I that. wanted something healthy. Now, this restaurant is of the Mexican you didn't know that? persuasion. No. And so I said, <laughs> boo, that place is poo caca. Let's go to home state instead. Mm-hmm. And I started an uprising. Yeah, popular mm-hmm. breakfast taco spot in Los Angeles. Which fucking rules. We yeah. did it without a recipe. It's yumalicious. Yeah, it's yumalish. Yeah. You're going to look me in the eyes and tell me that. When it comes here, yeah. here's the problem. When you have mm-hmm. a big group order of tacos, yep. somebody's tacos are going to be made probably 15 minutes before the last tacos finish getting made. You so can. somebody's getting 15-minute-year-old food before it even goes and you're against the sort of steam reheat paper wet paper towel over right, but it paper gets towel. here and i know i know for a fact that no one was like wow what a delicious lunch no i was not a single person i loved it I, I, loved it. The, no, do you want a I already talked to you about this don't you change your I little got the tune. salad you already you and you got a taco too. in your face and, I, it. and it was really good and I you know you it. said it was not as good as you wanted it to be because it was definitely cold because it doesn't get here hot enough to be good and some of those especially the potato ones yeah. no offense they need to be hot or else they're not good nobody wants a cold offense potato <laughs> offense. no offense one wants taken. a cold potato you know what then don't order the potato yeah i did I, last time i got it I found all four. I got four different flavors. Disappointing. Now, because they You're going to look me hot. in the eyes and tell me yes. that your poo caca place yes. is better. It's not. It sucks. But I think both of them <laughs> are bad. Are bad. What's and when favorite? I need a salad, yeah. I want the first place because it has slightly better salad options. You know what? Hank Green was right about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like nobody wants tacos that were made 30, 40 minutes ago. You know what I'll say, I though? Do. I actually feel good. like oftentimes they're warm enough because they're in the, okay, the tin you're foil. You're giving them a lot of credit then. They're in the tin foil. Mm-hmm. And uh, we, yeah. So can Jack drive with one of the heat lamps in his car? Like we should this. honestly build a food, yeah, like a food station. Or can he bring like just a really thermal bag with him? We should something? have a, th- by the way, we should get like a door, like, you know, how they have like a little vacuum sealed bag. Yeah. We should get that for Jack. Yeah. He like can that. vacuum seal all of our lunches when Feels he arrives at the restaurant. Totally unnecessary, but it would be funny. Just a better 
thermal bag, I think would help a lot of these issues. Well, yeah. And never ordering from your Pupacaca place again, I think would also be well, great. Well, this is like- Which we, no- by the way, we went again this week. It was crazy. Then Desiree all of a sudden was like, Let's go to this place. Pupacaca and I was like, place. why are you well, literally Devin this wanted is insane? It. No, 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 Desiree did. No, Devin know, last Devin week suggested Chipotle. It. Yeah. But yeah, but Devin said Devin she, suggested Chipotle. We're having an art, we're having a <laughs> war between these two places. And she goes, What about Chipotle? No. And we went, You stay out of this. No. It was crazy. I'm not using Have you had the Chipotle no. crunchy tacos though? They're pretty good. I, I love Chipotle. Chipotle. Well. I mean, it's a free to bell scrape, but that's it's not what we're talking <laughs> about. We live in Los Angeles. We can't be getting Chipotle. That's what I'm saying. I so she made us go to Pupacaga Place this week. And I said, yeah. you know what? I'm going to give it another shot. I tried. It sucks. What did you get? The rice it's is bad. crunchy. I don't get the rice. I what, get you the get a salad. Salad. <laughs> I get a salad. I will say oh. the place that we're talking about is controversial around the office. It's a hot spot. I don't think it's that bad. It's just that I don't want to waste my lunch on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's like, definitely better places. There's definitely better places. And honestly, the place we're going today... I'm excited. No, about it. I don't like the place we're going. Well, I don't even know. You don't like the place mm-hmm. we're going today? No. Have you gotten the duck confit sandwich? <laughs> this place makes duck. <laughs> I'm having a confit. steak and brie sandwich with I, potato like, listen, sides. Listen, the titles are really amazing. Like when we got it the last time, yeah. I was like super excited by it. But then I ate it and like the chicken was not good. Oh, just because you didn't like the chicken, you're not going to want to fuck a chicken? What? All right. Let, <laughs> I will say. Another, right, let's, take, let's thank some sponsors. I'll, let's say one, some. I'll say one thing after this break. Go for it. Okay, so I, um, the only thing I don't like about this place we're getting from yeah. is I hate when places only have ciabatta as the bread options for sandwiches. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think ciabatta is the worst sandwich for breads. Hank Green or breads for right sandwiches. You. <laughs> I, I, I think there's so many other good breads and ciabatta, yeah. it sucks. You've, you've had this reaction to me before when I was eating a ciabatta sandwich and it was aggressive. Yeah. And I understand where your heart's in. It sucks. But I think it's also that if ciabatta is cold, then it's really hard. If it's a little bit warmed up in a hot sandwich, it can be doable. But I feel you. I know what you mean. Ciabatta can be a crunchy bread. Rainy's crying. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to need a week. I don't think I can do another pot until the new year. This is... I, I you think like I'm at, ciabatta. I'm at my, I'm at you, my limit. Answer me that. You like ciabatta. What's no, the Fikasha. Fikasha is way better than ciabatta. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So Fikasha you don't like it. So you agree. <laughs> I would way rather my sandwich be on Fikasha. Fucking pizza bread. Well, let's talk about this holiday party because that's yeah, the main please. event. Yeah, please. And we're freaking talking about shimishi shalamus and... Excuse me, Trumothy Shala Falls is going to be. I want the com- people in the comments to rise up. Trumothy Shala Falls. Do you think people are segment. still listening to this after we talk for 10 minutes about lunch choices we don't like? I actually think I it's can't kind imagine of people are on the edge of their seat for this episode. This episode Let's bring shit. it up. Let's bring up the energy, Miles. Okay. <laughs> Holiday party. Yeah. You. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> Hank Green was right about you. There was a holiday party and everyone got lit and wild. Unfortunately, I could only go to the after party. And you were only there for maybe couple 10 hours, minutes. A couple hours. I saw you. You said hello as look. you slunk into the bathroom. Yeah, look. And you gave me that point of like, I'll be right back. We're going to chat. Yeah. And then you were this gone. was my This was my surefire way. I tried to make contact with a lot of different people. So I said, Zach... Not, and you remember what I said? I said, nice glasses, looking like Daniel Craig. And then I walked right by because I thought, a lot. now me and Zach have had a moment today. Yep. <laughs> and I wanted more. I know. I wanted to, sh- I had so much on yeah. my plate to schmooze with you about. I know. I wanted to schmooze too, but I had uh, two back to back 12 hour days yeah, that I had, to, um, I had to get back to. But I will say, and this is, you know, the powers that be, the holiday party was supposed to be this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And so I moved some stuff around. Yeah. Right? And then it changed because hey, so, so, so did we. So did we. We certainly did too. We so, all didn't want it to be that week. It, no, it, you me. know, it is what it is. But I heard there was a great toast at dinner that it I was missed. very sweet. You might so, have just so we did a yeah, we did two holiday parties. We had one just for the staff. our people, for the staff. We went to Major Domo, which is mm-hmm. David Chang's restaurant. The guy who does that show ugly delicious, mm-hmm. incredible food. So so too much food. I've we, never been served that much food at a holiday party either. I mean, Rainy, do I didn't you... think it was too much. Oh, I was drowning. The, there was there were enough leftovers for every single person to take two sandwiches home. <laughs> well, those were like that was an interesting part of the of the um, courses because it was last course a leftover sandwich. Yeah, yeah because there was too much food. Yeah, but they also <laughs> like and they bought they bagged up the gigantic beef ribs. They oh yeah, us. and then YB took those right. I wish I could because MJ taken for one. some reason was was taxiing. There was them. so much food. Like there was so <laughs> much beef. 
I thought the oysters, and I said this one, you can sit with us, best oysters I've ever had in my life. Yeah, they were They were, they were good I oysters. I don't oysters. know if they were the best I've ever had in my life, but they were very good. Yeah, it was, it was great. Good. But yeah, you just had better oysters. I don't give fucking superlatives out like willy nilly dilly. Yeah, well, honestly. We did a beautiful toast. Yeah, we yeah. Heard you did we ate toast. the best oysters that we've ever had in our lives. Yeah. It was a beautiful meal. And while we were there, yeah. a little celebo sighting. I did hear about that. We were sitting celebos. at a long table inside. In a private room. We were mm-hmm. in the private room. Yeah. Separated by class. Mm-hmm. And outside us was none other than Mr. David Franco. Yeah. And Mick Lovin himself. Christopher mm-hmm. Mintzplas. Christopher Mintzplas. Yeah. And Dave Franco hanging out. With two other people. That separated we didn't by recognize. a mere plane of glass. Yeah. Devin did. There was a conspiracy that Seth Rogen was sitting at their table. Oh, yeah. But that's she showed true. me a picture. Wishful and she thinking. said, that's what he looks like. That's him. And I, it was not. That's <laughs> not. <laughs> no, if it was, I would have maybe braved yeah. You the, would have? the embarrassment and just gone ah! out and said hello. That'd now, cool. okay, another rumor. Because I love Seth Rogen. I would have. I would have also it. braved. Um, they were googling us. You think they oh, were? Yeah, they, they were. definitely were. Really? Yeah. Someone leaned over and pointed oh. us and probably whispered, "Those are the guys from the thing." I think that and Seth then, Rogen had a Try Guys tweet, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. wasn't yeah. Seth Rogen though. <laughs> <laughs> he had he had one that said he had one that said what's a Try Guy, and this I wanted this is how it starts. Yeah. First, we're saying that Bo Burnham and Braga. Yeah. Then we got we got fact. Truth matters. Yeah. Truth but matters. They probably were because it's like obviously you your faces were very saturated on the internet lately. Like yeah. were, were they? No. But um, <laughs> according to Time. The periodical time. I wanted to bring this up, yeah. Online, they said that our issue is the fifth most viral moment of the year. Whoa. Which is crazy. Which is upsetting. You outclassed the slap. Which is crazy. Which is does not feel correct. I think that's just because of time. Like yeah, how just much recently. they've had. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because what was the, number one? I didn't get that far. I think it was like corn. I was just or dreading that we were number one. I was like, <laughs> scro- each, each scroll, I was like, okay. Okay. Ooh, oh, more than that. Come on. Oh, more than that. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Let's see this list. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we um. Oh wow, it's a big old photo. Yeah. Boy, don't. <laughs> I know. Flapgate was number ten. No way. No way. That was Flapgate like was crazy. Yeah, that was really. West wild. M Caleb. West Elm Caleb was number nine. A that guy was casually year. dating. He's a nightmare. Pink sauce was number five. Ah uh, yes. That oh. was popular. Leah Michelle fun. can't read was That's number really four. Funny. I mean that was very funny. I'm That's on funny, board. Yeah. Don't worry, darling. And Spitgate was number three. I yeah, concur. that's great. Yeah. yeah. Queen Elizabeth's death on Twitter. That's and a weird. Who's that? Two. A really weird viral, viral moment. moment to be you know cobbled in a list with pink sauce. Yeah. Well, you know there was a lot of <laughs> really spanning the internet. <laughs> a lot of fun tweets. Oh, and number one was Amber Heard was trying to. Yeah, yikes. See, but uh, the pink sauce thing was like for a day. Like why? I don't know. Yeah, it was like a couple of weeks, but I think we probably should have beat pink sauce. <laughs> should have beat. Yeah. I don't know that I'm going to claim we. <laughs> right, 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 right. I, I don't know that I. Well, I, actually, you know, that's an interesting thing you bring up. It's the last episode of the year. And um, looking oh, back yeah. on the year, what have you learned? What have you, what's, what's, what's made you grow throughout the last yeah. year? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Do you think you're far enough away where you can process it? Or you do you feel like... Because it's hard to learn from something when you're in it. It's been two and a half months. Oh, my God. <laughs> it feels like it's been a fucking seven months. <laughs> we had the it's been two and a half months. We were months. like, what a year it's been uh, two months ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. That was two months ago? Yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah that's whack. It's, just, uh, it's mid-December, right? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. fucking whack. Yeah. Uh, um, what have I learned this year? Yeah. Um, I, I learned a lot of things. Um, I think that we... You know, I think we learned how to step up as people, mm-hmm. step up 3D, step up to the streets. Yeah, yeah you worked on one of those, so that um, that's, makes sense. So I finally learned that. Sense, yeah. I, I, I think that we learned, obviously, an appreciation for the people that we work with. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the thing that I'm going to take away from this year, which is something that I had been gearing towards, and I've spoken about this, is just a commitment to quality over everything else. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, life on the internet is inherently so ephemeral and flimsy that if you spend your life chasing peaks and troughs and clicks and virality, that it's just a hollow existence. Yeah. So that's that's something. I don't know that I learned it, but it certainly reaffirmed it for me yeah. this year. Yeah, we're following our dreams now. Even harder. We're dream harder. boys. We're That's dreamers. awesome. I'll Not be your dream girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Beat up some influencers who try to steal my weed. That was the last <laughs> week reference, but no, yeah. still stand by it. 
Okay, not fishing for compliments, but what about <laughs> me? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what about me? You what did you learn about for, some yeah, of your newer about, employees? But appreciation for for the staff and what like what did we do? Because well, I we, sort of feel like we were at lunch, sort of talking. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we were at lunch. I mean, we we said this uh, at the the toast that I I think yeah. a a lesser group wouldn't have made it through this year. That's true. And, I do agree. And there we would have splintered and mm-hmm. and. And what, it's mostly also like what you didn't do because you were oh. very mature. Like nobody was like actually like talking to TMZ or sure. like because I'm mm-hmm. sure that everyone was getting asked by people to make a comment and nobody mm-hmm. did. Yeah. Everybody was very professional about it. Understood that this was a complicated situation. Yeah, and uh, it's it's know. the classic when the going gets tough, the tough gets going, and we uh, yeah, fuck yeah. Well, did I get a shout out during the speech that I wasn't there for? Yeah, um, you did. Yeah, you kind actually, of brushed over you pretty quick. Yeah, you were just like, I, and I, other people too, like everyone we else. Like, in case we forgot anyone, we were like <laughs> podcast department, which is mostly rainy. I think that's fair. <laughs> I, th- I did say podcast department, which is only represented by rainy yeah. tonight. Well, uh, rainy's the vibe committee. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've elected her a, a the false toast, title. The toast was that we appreciate uh, how good of a job you did handling what is actually the most intimate sort of view of stuff and yeah. we talk about stuff so you have to sort of edit and make sure that you know whatever is going out mm-hmm. is both casual and yet you know allows a peek behind the curtain but maybe not behind the curtain that, that people should know about and yeah. stuff like that it's sometimes a tricky job sometimes I say That's crazy nice. shit like fuck a horse and you know well we, then we have to go sometimes, sometimes it makes it yeah in the cut. <laughs> often it does me and Rainier are always like should we cut this no nah, who cares right <laughs> <laughs> no, at least you have that conversation. <laughs> at least you think about it. It's always brought up. My favorite thing you say is, "We're all adults." Yeah, we're all Keep adults here. They said it. Yeah. Well, it's also like sometimes Zach. Sometimes you'll say something emphatic, like, "Who fucks a? You fuck a horse. You better eat it." I didn't say if you fuck a horse, <laughs> horse you, you better, better eat, eat it. it. <laughs> if you fuck a horse, you better eat it. You shouldn't. <laughs> I want to go on record and say it's not okay to fuck horses, but I think it's debatably okay to eat them. We got to bleep like a lot of that, I think. <laughs> if you fuck a horse, you better eat it. I don't think you should fuck animals. No, obviously, cool. Keith, you don't need to. You saying that you don't think it <laughs> makes it more sense. Well, no one said it, and we've said fuck a horse six times, so we just may need to make sure. <laughs> I just think there are people out there who sort of subconsciously want to fuck a horse. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. I think people are sexually attracted, but I don't think they actually want to fuck the horse. No, I just like, think they're like, wow, beautiful. Furry culture. It's like how you say you want to fuck Timothy Shalomu. You don't actually want to. You wouldn't do it. Well... I don't know, Rainy, Timmy Rainy, Rainy was like, hey, like, how's it going? Like, <laughs> like um, Randy gave a little look. <laughs> what did you learn from the year? I don't know. I, I constantly, even though there have been difficult parts of this year, most every year is better than the previous year in terms of like getting to do unbelievable things. Mm. I got to be on stage on Broadway. I got to eat the menu of Yankee Stadium. I got to do things that like... If that was the only cool thing you ever did in your life, you'd feel like that was a pretty good life. <laughs> and we get to do a lot of those things. We, mm-hmm. I got to, uh, you know, I watched these guys fucking uh, drift. I didn't even do it. I gave up my opportunity to do it because I was like, oh, I'm not as interested. But even just being there and yeah. watching them do it was sick as fuck. Even that was awesome. What else? We did a lot of cool stuff. I know. I, we did a I, TV show. I, I kind of, when <laughs> I think about TV. this year, I forget what the year was. And that, yeah. I think, goes to show how wild it's been. Yeah, it was a good, uh, like, in the grand scheme of things, a lot of really wonderful things happened this year. I also grew up mm-hmm. watching Food Network, and I remember I would always fall asleep watching Aww. Food Network. Uh, so being on Food Network was sick. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was awesome. And now I'm working on an off-Broadway show for next year, so I know that next year already has some cool things that are like, never done that before. I'm going to get a whole new life experience. And mm-hmm. uh, even doing these last little Eat with Keiths have been fun, a really great way to engage with, our audience and uh, I did. I, did you see the story I posted right after the last eat with Keith of the girl who is in another country taking a bite of chicken with me at the same time? I don't think so. It is truly a dream come true to wow. see that happening. Aww. It's very sweet and it's cool. And I'm, I'm going to show it to you right now because it's so cool. It is like to me. I was like, that is like special. What it's all about. That's special that this person in another country. I think she was in Venezuela. Uh, Indonesia. So here, this is this girl, and she's just. Oh. <gasps> oh, that's so that's cute. Cool. These are people around the world. 
at the same time as me taking a That's bite of chicken. That's really cool. And her chicken sounded way crunchier than mine. Her chicken sounded good. Her chicken sounded totally different. Um, and uh, I don't know. That was like the reason I did it. And, mm-hmm. But actually seeing it happen was really cool. That was a cool moment last night when I was looking at it. It was neat. Mm. Rapid fire holiday party gossip. Okay. Who got the most drunk? Jared Popkin. <laughs> Who danced on the bar? And had the bartender tell them to get down, please. Desiree. Really? No way. <laughs> really? I she, missed that. She wasn't fully on the bar. She just kind of was like, like stand, starting to stand on her like stool. She just was a little too much on it. That's hilarious. Um, it was actually a great moment where uh, one, she, you, you had this moment where she was like, "Do you want to take a <laughs> shot?" And you're like, "Do you?" And she's like, "Not really." And then someone else was like, "Shot." And she's like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> but uh, she's like. Olivia Rodrigo comes on. Nick made a great playlist, but Olivia Rodrigo's playing for maybe 45 seconds. And then suddenly she just, she goes, I love Olivia Rodrigo. Like it just didn't register for the first minute <laughs> oh, of the that's song. so funny. Yeah, it was a very fun party though. I, it's, it's always a good party when it's like 1230 and you're like, wow, I'm having a great time. And then you like, Next time you look down, it feels like three minutes have passed. It's like, it's 1.30? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shoot. No, really we nice. had the magician from my bachelor party yep. who mm-hmm. was there doing close-up magic for people. Yep. Made me scream. What did he do? He did a trick <gasps> that like fully, like the, the whole circle, Maggie, Becky, and me all screamed because it was so shocking. He had this, this okay, deck of cards yeah. and like, you know, whatever, your card is like the Eight of, whatever of eight of clubs yeah. yeah puts it in the middle and then he's floating his hand over it and he's like he's like i'm gonna make he basically was says something about make my shadow make it move and so his hands are floating and he like wiggles his finger and the deck of fucking cards like moves um, moves and a m- carve in the middle goes like mm-hmm. uh, and pulls out and we like it is the the closest i've ever gone to being like demon that's so cool it really like fucked me up wow, like rocks. deeply like i he did other tricks that i saw him do at the bachelor party again still blew my mind like yeah. wow can't believe don't know how you did that but that one like i'm wow. i'm kind of my disturbed yeah that's <laughs> so it was good cool. magic it was good magic we also had a tarot reader mm-hmm. a great and a great photo booth uh all the classics the drinks were actually really good the drinks I, were amazing i, I love that were, they yeah. had a good size mocktail list as well i had, had a mocktail. cocktails and mocktails i had i had beers though because we like they kept refilling my wine at dinner i did not ask them to and they kept <laughs> filling it back up so by the time we got to the bar i was like i'm gonna switch to beer i don't want <laughs> i had yeah. like one cocktail I'm like no we're not gonna last very long doing this <laughs> we're gonna switch to beer so we can't yeah. possibly because i was so full I'm like this will make me be right. slow because i can't can't even drink it i'm just so full yeah we had uh, all of our faves there though we had johnny cakes coming through oh, yeah. cam and rome chris reinecker Christy jared Ryan. popkin mm-hmm. uh we had all of the people who help us with um, without a recipe. Yeah, all of our crew members. Yeah, it was great. It was really lovely. That's awesome. And it felt very festive. And mm. everyone looked sharp. Oh, we all, yeah. we all looked yeah. hot. Lot. Yeah. Dude, Zach looked like Daniel Craig. Just say more on that. I saw you looked like Daniel Craig. Yeah, tell me more. You Daniel Craig look, doesn't wear those glasses, does he? Yeah, no, you, you know you looked like? You looked like um, the other guy that looks like uh, Tom Craig Holland Proops. got stung by a bee. Craig Craig Baron Egerton. Yeah, you looked like Taron Egerton. Cool. <laughs> like, I hate that I knew you were talking about <laughs> Um, well, uh, everybody, is going to be about that the time. Yeah, I guess it's time for some Adviche. And this better be good because we're not going to get Adviche for two <gasps> weeks. Oh, shit. So you better make this one count because <clears throat> it's got to last for two weeks. It's gotta, this is going to be the advice that takes people into the new year. Well, this is going to be what people are thinking about as they're doing their New Year's kiss. And then it's he's going to be gone and yeah. then we're going to have Brainy Day have Thoughts. We'll yeah. have Brainy Day Thoughts for a while. Yeah. So this, this is the oh, final advice yeah. this is it. until Miles returns to us as a father. I'll have Zaddy's Corner. Yes, I love that. Tune into your radio station. It's a vice that'll go for miles. Everyone get ready. Miles Nation! The heir to the Miles Nation throne is about to be born. Is Miles Nation like a a, a sovereign nation? It's a monarchy. What's up, Miles Nation? How's everybody doing on this fine evening? Pretty good. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, let's hear it. Come on, guys. Okay. The final. Ooh, yeah, Have you ever that. wanted to drop it low? Yeah. Have you ever wanted to 
uh, uh, dance so good that everyone's like, yo, <laughs> that's nice. Throw a house party. Yes. I'm talking about that drop. I'm talking about getting so minty <gasps> that you could suck down something for a, <laughs> a good time, not a long time. Mojito? I want to suck like a- that is fast and satisfying. He said, I want to suck that is fast and satisfying. Yeah. To what me. did you say? <laughs> you said you wanted to suck that is slow. hard and good. Oh, is that better? I'm talking about waking up and having a sore little throat. Oh, no. Uh-oh. And now you're in the same sore little boat as I was several days ago. A oh. goat. And the goat advice that you're going to want to put in your tote is going to be to have and to hold and to suck and to swallow a cough drop. Oh, yeah. Have cough drops. I don't know you want to swallow the cough drop. You want to be swallowing a cough drop every hour on the hour you want to suck in it order down to moisten it's... the vocal cords and snare the senses and make sure your throat is getting it good. I guess but you are swallowing the cough drop just slowly well, you as you suck rip it off down the until yeah. it. But yeah. you're swallowing it. You're yeah. swallowing it. But my hot advice is actually to suck on the cough drop and have a little water with mm. it in your mouth. So you're drinking Ew. a little potion. Disgusting. That's a potion Blech. of drop. You know what I used to do in college? Mm. If you put honey in your mouth and then you don't swallow, you just like put your head back and you let, just it, let drip. it choke. You waterboard yourself with honey? Yeah. And that feels good? <laughs> yeah, it like coats it. It coats your throat. Yeah. It's a throat coat. It's a throat mm-hmm. coat. Miles, mm-hmm. the Bonsignore. Yeah, for sure. I mm-hmm. was shopping for a Secret Santa gift. <gasps> and why are you gasping at that? I don't know. I'm excited. <laughs> and I, my, I, Rachel was who I was assigned. So I was only looking for her, but I found a book and it was too expensive. And I honestly, I'm mad at myself now for not just buying it for you. (gasps) Should I just not tell him what it is? Oh my God, what is it? See if you can go find it. I'm so stoked on it. I got you a gift one time apropos of nothing. You did and it was incredible. And then you never returned the favor. No, I didn't. Do you guys want to, okay, how about Miles, you, you, you close your ears and I'll tell the audience what it was because it's rude to not tell the audience. Okay, cool. I'll kind of put my fingers in my ears and I'll look away. Yeah, and kind of go for it, Zach. Guys, it was a bath recipe book. You put like different potions (laughs) and combinations. Such a great idea. And (laughs) each bath had a different recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding me? That would have been perfect for him. Are you kidding me? Maybe you can. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. I'm I'm not a thoughtful person. I think I I, I aspire to be (laughs) the kind of person that like sees something and then thinks of a person who it's for and just gets it and holds on to it. I, I, I've never been that person. Random gifts are fun. Yeah, I love Way more gift. fun than Christmas gifts, I think. Because it's just such a surprise. You're like... Although yeah. sometimes for Christmas, it's nice to get like a gift from someone that I didn't think we were going to exchange gifts. And they're just like, I got you a little thing. Or like to give them a little thing. Like, I got you a Christmas. And they're like, oh, I didn't get... And it's like, I don't need you to get me anything. I just yeah. got you a little like, like a the gun or something. The politics of exchange is kind of complicated. The what exchange? Like the, poli- the politics Like if you get somebody a, a gift, yeah. and then the implication is you have to get them a gift. No, I, I don't that's care. Bad. I yeah, don't care. I think you should just whatever. I just want to give. Really? Because you gave me a gift and just you're kind of ago, still been holding about. it against me to this day. Well, that was years ago. So I feel like in, t- in between now and years ago, there might have been one opportunity. <laughs> yeah, it was a gift. <laughs> like, I don't gift. need it right away. Like, I'll give you some time, but it was a really good Well, job. I hope that all of you have wonderful gift giving in these last weeks. I hope yeah. you have a Merry, I got a Merry Christmas and a yeah. Happy Hanukkah and a Happy New Year and whatever it is you celebrate. I hope it it's, goes dope as fuck. Santa's coming. Santa's almost there. What? He's going to church. And it's coming. Um, on where? On Christmas. <laughs> on Christmas. He's coming down your chimney, Zach. Ew. Not yours, though. Gross. How do you clean that? Yeah, Difficult. Gross. But thanks for joining us this year. What a year it's been. On to 2023. Mm. And uh, 2023, scandal free. That's what we're going to say. 2023, scandal free is a good t shirt. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm loving One, it. One, two, three, four. Santa Claus is coming. Yeah, yeah. Santa Claus, Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is coming. Have a good ass couple months, everybody. I'll see you in February.